Okay, welcome back everybody. Today we start off unit two and the lesson topic is integers and absolute value. So we have before us, and we're actually going to start with just integers and then we're going to get to absolute value. A couple of vocab words. We need to know what negative numbers and positive numbers are. So obviously positive numbers are over here on the right side of the number line, separate and negative numbers on the left side of the number line, separated by the lovely number zero which didn't exist always, but it is a lovely number. It uh, is a nice placeholder. Uh, integers, by definition, are positive and negative whole numbers. No decimals, no fractions. They're nice and easy to compute with because they uh, are easy to add. Now, when you have two numbers that are exactly in the same spot on different sides of the number line, they're called opposites like three and negative three. If you add opposites together, they cancel out and become zero. Now, first thing we wanna talk about is how to write an integer. You need to determine, is my number going to be on the positive side of the number line or the negative side of the number line? So you're gonna look for clues in the phrase or the sentence. So here we're talking about a loss of eight yards, right? Loss is a negative thing, so negative eight, boom. Deposit of 15 in a bank account. What's happening to your bank account? Is it going up or down? Depositing means putting money into your bank account. So it is going up. Positive 15. You do not need to write the plus sign. You can just write 15. Now, when we're talking about number lines, because a lot of the times we compare integers on a number line, that uh, uh, dot or the number on the number line is called the coordinate. Okay, where is it located? Um, on the number line. So this one has a coordinate of negative five, this one has a coordinate of five. And later we're going to talk about a coordinate plane. So you have an X axis and a Y axis, and then it's a big grid. But we'll talk about that more later. You can compare integers with inequalities. Okay, so here four is greater than, okay, that's the greater than symbol, negative five. Or you could say negative five is less than four. So we can compare integers in a couple different ways. Write two inequalities to compare these numbers. So we kind of just did it up there. So the way it's written right now, negative seven is less than negative three, or you could reverse it. You could write the bigger number first is greater than negative seven. Be careful with this. Negatives, the more, the bigger they look, the smaller they actually are. With positives, the bigger they look, the bigger they actually are. Um, just be careful with that. When you're comparing negatives, it's a little confusing. Replace the uh, little dot here with the symbol. Is it less than, greater than, or equal to? Remember, you make the less than with your left hand. I guess that looks like your right hand. So over here, your left hand, I don't know. I can't tell if the video is reversed or not. So in here, negative one is less than positive two. Now let's talk about ordering some integers here. I gotta move the video. Record highs in Degrees Celsius in Niagara Falls from February 21st to 28th of recent year are listed here. Four, two, three, negative six, negative five, negative one, zero, and one. Order the temperatures from least to greatest. So I like to cross them off so I, I don't miss any. First, I find the biggest. It says greatest to least. So what's the biggest number here? I see four. So we're going to go four. And then I see three. And you can tell I'm making this video at school because my bell is going off to represent the end of the period, which is not currently going on because I'm making this video. And as I talk, I am ordering least to greatest. Whoops, that's a one, not a three. And you just keep going down, crossing zero and into the negatives. Boom, done. All right, now, absolute value. What is absolute value? This is one of those things that's not terribly hard, but it's easy to forget. All absolute value is how far is your number from zero? It's represented by these fun bars here. They're kind of like parentheses, but they're straight. And they can be used actually as parentheses. So the absolute value of six and negative six are equal. They're both six units from zero. And absolute values are always positive because distances have to be positive. You can't go negative distance. You can go backwards, but it's still a positive distance. Okay, you're, not, you're never going negative places. You're still going places. You're just going them backwards or in reverse. Okay, you're still going a distance. 